Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have some tips here prepared and I have this Nicole diary plate I've been sitting on so I figured why not. It kind of looks like a galaxy uh, ballerina plate. We got some music notes, ballerina slippers here. Then you got a couple where like you could put the dress you want on her. It's a little bit of overprint here too with that one some ballerina shoes tuxedo music i love ballet so it's got like a bunch of pretty little images here and i figured it's kind of like galaxy-ish with ballet i'm just gonna get started real quick what i got on these um here this was just that pink that i reviewed of those um let it ripple se polishes that was the pink this white right here is the model one's uh white that i had reviewed a while back in like a collection this right here is just a you are sugar polish and it is just all glitter with like it's got some uh, moons on it if you can see like the glitters in there, they're moons and big chunky glitters and little ones and kind of galaxy-ish. So I got two coats of that. This one right here is just a, um, there was another model one's like nude color in one of the collections I had reviewed. I will put all the collections or whatever the polish is down in the description box again below. Um, overneath the top of it. I used um, one of these UR Sugar Magnetic, like, purple, shimmery colors to go over it. And I kind of just took the magnet because I just wanted, like, the shimmer all over the place. I didn't want a straight line or two circles, like, here with, like, a S. I just kind of wanted it all over. And I kind of did the same thing with this. I used um, a black. Let me see if it's one of these. I just used a black You Are Sugar polish. Black eye gel polish. Plain black. And overneath the top of it, I had used a purple. It was like a dark purple. But I, it wasn't showing is like vibrantly as this is now so i did go over it with it was either this one because i used one on here and one on here or it was let's see that's just the black or it was this one and they do look very very similar this one is called 90 Magic Magnetic Gel UR02, and this is 90 Magic Magnetic Gel UR01, so they are very close. So, I just put it over the black and just took my uh, magnet, swirled it around, but... I'm going to get into doing these nails now. I'm going to put on some music, speed things up, and uh, yeah, get to it. And I will be back at the end to show you the nails, just in case anything goes out of focus or, you know, the video stops and I don't realize it. You could see everything. So sit back, enjoy, and... Uh, I will be back at the end.
Okay guys, so I am back and here is how the tips look. I was actually going to do this mat right here, but it just, I don't know, it just wasn't looking right. So I just did the whole thing with a shiny top coat. Again, shiny top coat. So here's our ballerina girl with ballet rotin on the top. Here's our ballet slipper. And I was actually going to use pointed because... Some of these images look to kind of bigger, like these ones. So I was going to use the long, like, uh, stiletto tips. But I knew I wanted to use this one, and I thought, like, the curve of these nails would be perfect for this ballet slipper. So it's actually why I did pick these tips. But um, we got the music notes. Then here with this, like, galaxy black background, I just did her with white. And I did, as you've seen, I put a shimmer and then put like another pink uh, overneath the top of it. Just to give it like that baby pink, shimmery, I don't know, look. And then it's got like the moon right there and stuff to kind of go with like the galaxy look of it all. And then I put some music notes around it. Because, I don't know, I felt like it was missing something. And then here, I did this one. I just want to show you guys. I did this one in matte. Now, I don't know if you guys are going to like matte. And as you can see, all the galaxy around, and that's her dancing in the middle. With like her leg up right there, her skirt. And then like her arm back here and her head. So, this is how it looks. You could still see the magnetic look. But I wanted to show you it matte. And now I'm going to do it with a top coat, a shiny top coat. I kind of liked it both ways. But usually when there's like glitter or like the uh, magnetic, I like the magnetic uh, matte too. But here's how it looks shiny. And I think you kind of see the images a little more of like her. I do love white and matte, but let me cure this, and then I'm just going to keep that one shiny. But I wanted to show you it in both ways, so let me know, what did you like better, the matte or the shiny um, top coat on that one? And, um, yeah, and actually, in between doing these nails, my nail ended up breaking, and I literally had to stop because I ended up, I just, I hurt my nail. I went downstairs, get something to drink, and I slammed my nail. And you know when it hurts, when it like pops off. So I had to put something back over it. It just felt weird. So I ended up just using a dip powder. I usually like doing acrylic. But I was like, I'm just going to real fast. And this is the UR Sugar dip powder and oh my goodness it is hard as a rock like it is and I wasn't liking it at first but it worked really well so I will be doing a review on the UR sugar dip powder and the powders I mean when I say they are small look at this but I really bought these because for the price I really needed these because I have, I'm not big on dip powder, but it is nice when you're in a hurry and you could just do some quick acrylic dips. Like dip powder for like acrylic nail. It's like acrylic nail, but dip powder. Oh, trying to get that out. But it came with, and it's, you know, I do have um, what it, double dip. But some of my things got hard. The brushes and stuff. And it came... With all of these, and I figured it'll probably work with the double dip too. So I really bought it for all of these, which is the the base. Well, actually, hold on. The bond, the base, the activator, the top coat, and then we got the brush saver. And I know this video has nothing to do with any of that, but... Then it came, I picked out these colors. It's just a natural color. This is like a baby blue. 
mint green, whatever. This gold. And I could have swore there was another one. It might be somewhere. Because I know I dropped them out of this box. And I've been doing so much cleaning. Putting things in different places. So moving my nail stuff around. But I will eventually, I want to do a review on that. Because, I mean, it was really quick. The only time, I wasn't going to even use the drill. I didn't even use the drill on the top of this. I mean, I just used a regular old file. And um, I did use the drill for underneath, though, because I pinched it to be a little bit more curved to give it that nice, like, smile line or smile curve. And it was a little more on the sides because I, so I just wanted to, I don't know, clean that out. But besides that, yeah, it worked really good. Pretty impressed with it. I really like that. But here is my nails now. That one's all cured. Top coated. And I really think this plate is so adorable. Very girly. I think my favorite ones are, is this one. Definitely this one. And this one. These two, eh. I mean, this one's cute. This one's not my super favorite, but... These three, super cute. I even think that one's really pretty. It's just very delicate and girly. But let me know what you guys think. Hope you like this review or tutorial. This was the Nicole Diary 139 plate. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. So have a beautiful, blessed, and safe rest of your day. And I hope to see you guys back real soon. Bye.